Let's take a quick look at the Lee & Lee PCQ30. This case is special, and it's quite different. I'm sure many of you have never seen a case like this. It's a mini ITX case. There's a large acrylic window in the front, so you can see where your motherboard is and you know, all your components on the inside. And the entire thing is extremely lightweight, 2.13 kilograms to be exact, and that's because it's made out of aluminum. Uh, now the aluminum has a nice finish. Comes in silver and in black. And the one we're looking at here has a hairline brushed anodized finish on it. So it's got a, just a really nice look to it all the way around. It's 357 millimeters tall, 300 millimeters deep, and 223 millimeters wide. Now let's look at the front. Of course, we have the large uh, acrylic window, eight inches across there, uh, cut into the front. Beneath that, we have our power button. It's a dual LED power button, glows blue for power, and uh, it'll blink purple whenever there's HDD activity. And then we have our Lee & Lee logo beneath that, shines in the light. Now on each side panel, we have a vent, like an air vent. So there's no mounting options for fans on, on either side. So take that into account. Uh, the only fan that we have in this comes pre-installed. There's a 140 millimeter fan in the back, but we'll get into that in a second. On the left side from the front, we have our air vent right above where your GPU is going to be. And then below that, we have two USB 3.0 ports and a microphone and headphone. Looking at the back, we have a compartment where there is a 140 millimeter fan. It's pre-installed as an exhaust to pull the heat away from the motherboard. Beneath that, there is a cutout where you can install uh, your power supply. And the power supply can be no bigger than 125 millimeters, so you're gonna have to get an SFX power supply. All right, let's, uh, let's crack this open and get under the hood. Now, you may be, may be wondering, how do you take off the side panels? What do you do? Well, you, you can take off the side panels. I mean, these have there's screws everywhere, but that's not how you really um, work on this system. You take off the front panel. Uh, you can also remove the compartment in the back where the 140 millimeter fan is. We're going to do that, too, with just four, uh, four small thumb screws. So we pull all that out, and here we have the inside. Now, it will support up to a 200 millimeter uh, GPU. Also, there's not a lot of room um, for cooling, you have 133 millimeters of height, so that's that's decent height. You can put a, a small tower cooler on here, and you you'll be all right. As far as storage goes, there's no, of course, there's no five and a quarter base, so no CD-ROM or any of that nonsense. But we do have a hard drive cage that's removable. In order to remove this, all you do is loosen a thumb screw in the front, and then you slide the entire cage forward. It pops out. There are four rubber spacers uh, that hold it into place, and it just pops back in in and out very easily. You can put up to four two and a half inch drives in there. Also inside, we have a USB 3 header for our motherboard and our HD audio header. I want to note that if your motherboard does not support USB 3, that's fine. They've included an adapter uh, that will change the USB 3 header into a USB 2 header. Also included is our uh, PC speaker that plugs into your motherboard. We have two uh, tie downs, and then we have all the screws that you need to mount everything some motherboard uh, screws, some hard drive screws and also some screws to install your power supply in the back. Speaking of the back, let's take a look at that. There is a vented area just above uh, where your motherboard is going to be, then there's uh, the, your I.O. section. Then we have two uh, vented slots where your uh, VGA card is going to be. You don't have to install a VGA card in there. I mean, your expansion slots, you can install whatever else. If you're building a NAS or something, you can install maybe a network card or something in there. And then beneath that, of course, you can see the opening where your power supply goes. And I want to note that the entire panel is removable. You just take out a couple screws and you can remove that entire panel on the bottom. And that will make it a little bit easier for you to install your power supply. Now, I don't think you're going to be using this for an extreme water-cooled, uh, you know, gaming rig unless you do some modifications to the case or mount your, uh, perhaps you want to mount your radiator on the back of the case and then figure out a way to route your cables inside. You may have to machine a hole. We might be playing around and machining a few things on this case because I think it's, I mean, personally, I think it looks really cool. It's unique. The front just screams for an LCD. So I'm not going to guarantee this, but we may be putting uh, an LCD in the front. Also want to note that we do have some uh, aluminum feet. There's no rubber on the bottom. It will scratch your desk if you slide it around. Uh, what I did was I flipped over a mouse pad and I used that to set the, uh, the unit on. Or you can just take a couple pieces of notebook paper. That'll fit under there this fine. It's Lee and Lee. The quality screams Lee and Lee. I mean, everything is just insanely high quality and it's extremely lightweight there's really not much to complain about other than the sacrifices that they had to make in order to keep this very small so that's what it is it's very small it's very unique and it's quite different if you like it you like it and that's pretty much all there is to it if you have any questions inbox at techsyndicate.com see you next time